the 10 most valuable sweaters slash sweater brands you're going to find out there to resell on eBay. We're going to start with number 10 and go all the way up to number one. Now, before we get started, I should mention most of these are not very common to find. So I'm not saying that these are all easy to find. You're going to find them every day. These are stuff that are hard to find. They're kind of like grail items or unicorn items or Sasquatch items or whatever you want to call them. I think, I, I think of them more like Sasquatch items than I do anything else, like Bigfoot hunting items, right? You hardly ever find them. Or you just don't find them. But you got to be looking for them, or if you do see them, you might not know what you got there. Right? So the top 10 most valuable sweater brands from 10 to number 1 that you can resell on eBay. Also, and one other thing before I go into it is... I did another couple of videos on sweaters. You should definitely check out. One is on LL Bean sweaters and one is on the best sell through rate sweaters and sweater brands. So the fastest selling sweaters out there in thrift stores that you can sell on eBay. So this is the most valuable sweaters in American dollars. We're going with used. We're going with buy it now. We're not messing with auctions. And like I said, these are not easy to find. Some of them are very rare. Um, I'll give some context with each one. The number 10 is Stone Island, as you can see here. I have these sorted by price plus shipping highest. So let's just take a look at some of the Stone Island. 333 bucks, 349 bucks, 274 bucks. These are all pre-owned. You can see that a lot of times there's this tag on the sleeve. This one has a bunch of pockets. I mean, I'm not I'm not bad talking anybody's sense of style, but you wouldn't catch me in one of these. I I think that's just straight silly. But hey, what do I know? I wear wolf shirts from the 90s. So I'll go with Stone Island number 10, most valuable sweater brand that you can find out there. And let's get one more look at that tag and let's get a real close look at it. Okay. I actually didn't know about this brand until I did this video. Look for that silly tag because it's guaranteed money. Weighing in at number nine of the ninth most valuable sweater you can find to resell on eBay, we have CC Filson. Again, used, buy it now, sorted by highest. You're not going to find these out there very often, these high value Filsons. You might find normal wool Filsons, but these are crazy. So let's give me, let me give you some some context here. These Filson sweaters have a total market size on eBay of 451 items being bought and sold. That means you take the actives and sold and you squish them together. That gives you the total market size on eBay. In this case, it's 451 units or items, however you want to delineate that thing. They are average sold price 122 American Buckaroonionios. 122. Not bad for a used sweater, right? But as you can see here, we go way up from there. Now, what are you looking for with Filson? Anything with a weird pattern like fishes or the Southwestern Aztec look. This, not sure why this went for so much. Merino wool crew, crewman. They call this a fisherman sweater. This is not a fisherman sweater, please. Fisherman sweaters are not this. This is a basic knit sweater, okay? Fisherman sweaters have the big cable knits. Um, I went over that in detail in my last video about sweater styles and sweater brands and the best, fastest selling ones. It's not a fisherman sweater, but it doesn't matter. So let this lesson be, even if you get your information or title wrong, people know what they're looking at and they know what they want to pay. So yeah, that's not a fisherman sweater, but still anything Filson is going to sell good and for good money. That's number nine. Number eight, we're going to... Pendleton Westerly. I'm not talking about every Pendleton. 
although some Pendletons will still sell for over 100 bucks, the average Pendleton Westerly will sell for $152 Roonies on eBay America. This one here, 400 bucks. 365. Now, why would people pay this much for this sweater, you ask? Because this was made famous in the film The Big Lebowski. This is the dude sweater, right? This is the pattern. This is that's why it's worth so much money. However, even if it wasn't the dude sweater worn in The Big Lebowski, it would still be worth pretty good money because it's a Pendleton, it's vintage, it's a zip cardigan, and it's got a weird pattern on it. So you add in a celebrity, um, well-loved movie with a cult following, and you're going to get massive prices like this. Number seven. This is one that I actually would be very careful about listing on eBay. I've heard from a couple of sources that Moncler is actively busting people for selling their stuff on eBay. I don't know why brands do this. This is a used item. Someone already bought it and they're trying to sell it. I don't understand why brands don't like this, but maybe they're trying to maintain some kind of brand identity. I have no idea. It's not my business. Be careful with Moncler is what I'm saying. Moncler average sold price is 165 American pesos. So 46% sell through rate. I should have mentioned um, the previous one, Pendleton Westerly is 100% sell through rate. So let that be, uh, let that rest in your little dome. Moncler 165 bucks. Total market size 237 items bought and sold on eBay. This is what they look like. Let's see if we can find a good tag. Yeah, see that one's black on black, so it's hard to see, but Moncler, it's worth a lot of money, and they like to kick you in the nuts um, for selling their stuff, so be careful. Moncler is one of those brands there. I, I've never found it, so I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about it, but if you want to list it, list it, but it's worth a lot of money. It'll sell pretty quick. Next, we have number six, online ceramics. Sort by highest price. 400 bucks for this tie-dye fisherman hoodie. Hoodie. You see, a lot of these are sweatshirts, not sweaters. This is, in, this is just a t-shirt. But, okay. Online ceramics, for whatever reason, has this big following and people love it trying to get a good picture of the tag and there's one right there online ceramics I don't I don't know let me see if I can find a better one people 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 that looks like a Gildan tag that's just a Gildan tag what is going on here I'm confused, as is always the case. A24 collab with Online Ceramics, independent trading company. See, now this is an independent trading company tag, which has nothing to do with Online Ceramics or A24. Mm, again, I'm totally confused. Let's just move on with this because this is just getting from worse to worse. Online ceramics, average sold price, 228 American dollars. As you can see, these um, average sold prices are going up as we get closer to number uno. Yeah, 73% sell through rate with online ceramics, 228 pesos. Next, Amiri. This is a brand I've actually seen a couple times. Um, sells for good money. The average sold price on a used Amiri sweater is $232. 246% sell through rate. This is the highest sell through rate of anything on this list. So if I was if I was factoring in sell through rate and sold price, this would be the number one. 
Since this video is about most valuable rated from 10 to 1, Amiri comes in at 5 only. But just know this stuff is like fire. Find it, sell it. It'll sell it immediately for a ton of money. I'm not sure how this got in here. But anyways, this is what they look like. The tag is nothing special. Let's see if I can find one. It's really not. Are they even going to bother showing it? Yeah, see, look. That's what it looks like. Amiri. Black tag, silver writing, little knit loops holding it on. No big deal. You see that tag, though? Pick it up and buy it. Make money with it. Number four, with an average sold price of $286, you've got Bruno Cuccinelli. Average sold price 286. Market size 1,195, which is pretty big. This is the biggest market size of any brand on this list. So this is more common than anything else on the list. More likely for you to find it in thrift stores. These are some of the most expensive ones that have recently sold. 995 bucks, 895 bucks. I mean, you find cardigans. Cardigans are almost always worth more than pullovers in any brand. But yeah, this Bruno Cusinelli stuff is crazy. Alpaca, that makes sense. Cashmere used to be worth a lot more than it is now, but it's the brand selling this, not the cashmere. So yeah, this is the most expensive ones. Let's take a look at one of these tags. You find this tag, you're going to want to pick, uh, pick that up no matter what. $286 average sold. Don't remember if I said that. 58% sell through rate. So it should sell uh, within, if not in 90 days, it'll sell maybe like 130 days or something like that so yeah the bruno cuccinelli definitely check it out look out for it number two super expensive 309 dollars is the average sold price tom ford never found it never found a sweater never found a shirt never found pants never found anything tom ford ever in all of my years of reselling never even seen this tag in real life the market size is 329, meaning 256 active, 76 sold. Sell through rate of only 30%. Obviously, people price it up. So you'll notice a lot with really expensive items, sometimes the sell through rate is not very good. So you might have to sit on it for a while. Unless you want to sell a Tom Ford for 100 bucks, which would be folly for sure. Because if you can get 1200, why would you get 100 just to sell it quick? I would never do that unless I had to. I had no other choice. So $309 average. Let's look at some of these. Here's a tag. Tom Ford. Cashmere, whatever. Look at this. Tom Ford. You see Tom Ford? But you probably won't. But if you see that, do not question it. Pick it up if it has holes. Pick it up if it has stains on it. Pick it up if someone's dog pissed on it. Take it to the cleaner. Spend 30 bucks. Just pick it up. It's worth money. A lot of it. So that's Tom Ford. Number two. I'm sorry, that was number... Yeah, that was number two. Um, it turns out that I screwed this whole list up because of my Excel sheet. So I'm about to tell you number one, but what happened is the true number 10 was not included because on my Excel sheet it shows up as number 11 because the number one row is the headers. Now for any Excel nerds, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For anybody else, you wish I would just shut up and keep going with the information you want to hear. So for those people, number one is Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Oh look. $2,150 for a hoodie. 
Let me just say something right now. These designer, crazy designer, weird fever people get, I don't understand it. I don't understand why someone would buy a sweater for $1,500 or $1,700. Who am I to judge, though? I mean, if, if you've got that kind of money and you want to buy a sweater that's no better than a Pendleton, but you want to spend $1,500 for it, hey, I'm not judging. You want to have Louis Vuitton on your chest so everybody knows you spent, you know, $3,000 for a sweater so you can get mauled and killed and, and have your clothing ripped off you in the dark when you walk through bad neighborhoods? Go ahead. I'll wear an Eddie Bauer that I, I spent $5 on and I don't care if it gets torn apart. But that's just me. What do I know? I wear wolf shirts and good vibes hats. All right. Louis Vuitton. Look at it. Look at it in all of its glory. $1,200. Oh, by the way, you sell Louis Vuitton, you're going to have to send it to an authenticator. And on that note, uh, I actually did that once for a pair of shoes, and it turns out they were fake. So it was pretty bad. All right, so now the last thing I want to do is go through the true number 10, which was something called Kawachan which is not a brand. Oh, by the way, Louis Vuitton, average sold price, $434. I forgot to say that. Okay, here's Kawachan. It's more of a style than it is a brand. And it has to do with the Canadian um, native tribe knit style. So Kawachan, it's really hard to explain. It's like a knit style of the indigenous folks in Canada. But Kawachan was number 10 on the list with this average sold price of 108. You have to do a little extra research if you want to really understand it, but sometimes you can use the word Kawachan if it's anything that looks kind of like native Aztec, but a little different. Like a picture like that, an eagle or a buffalo, or something like this, you could use the term Cowichan, Cowichan, and get more money for it. Originates from, I believe it's Alberta, from the natives in Alberta. I believe, I could be wrong, don't quote me. But yeah, anything Cowichan will get good money if you see it out there. It doesn't matter what brand it is. So not a brand, but a style, Cowichan, Cowichan. This kind of knit with uh, animal print or shapes or it might even look kind of like that with moose or this is kind of a Nordic style, like a fair isle. But you can use the word Kawachan, anything with, a, with a, a style like this, and it'll help it sell. So that's it. The top 10 slash, the top 10 slash 11 slash 9 most valuable sweaters to resell on eBay. Goodbye. Okay,